In this video everyone we are in the picturesque town of Ross on Wye and they say this is the origin of British tourism. Let's take a look. Now if you've seen this video, our review of Hayward Farm, it is near Ross on Wye but if you're planning to get into Ross on Wye from that campsite you really do need a vehicle so you either need to unplug your camper or motorhome or you need to have a car with you or some means of getting there because although there is a bus route the bus i am told and these are the exact words from the chap at the campsite itself was well it's useless and there's only about two a day so you really need to sort out how you're going to get to ross on why might even end up using the taxi We'll give you a bit of background about the historic town of Ross and Wye. So Ross and Wye is a market town in England that near it's near the border of Wales, has a population of over 10,000 people. Well, that was according to the census in 2011 at least. It lies in the southeastern part of Herefordshire, and of course you have the River Wye running through it. You're also on the northern edge of the Forest of Dean. The name Ross is derived from the Welsh or Celtic for a premonitory. Now, obviously, being a Brummie, that won't be pronounced correctly. It was renamed Ross and White in 1931. Ross and White promotes itself as the birthplace of British tourism. St Mary's is a 700-year-old parish church and is the town's most prominent landmark. The plague, or also known as the Corpse Cross, was erected in the churchyard of St Mary's in 1637 as a memorial to 315 town folk who died that year of the plague and are buried nearby in a plague pit at night without coffins. By 1896, the plague cross had fallen into disrepair and the top was missing. It was later restored. Since 24th September 1997, it has been listed as a grade two edifice. So today the town is known for its locally owned shops. There are quite a number of bespoke shops that you're not going to see anywhere else. It has a small theatre that shows films once a month along with plays and other art events. The ruins of Wilton Castle to the west of the town have been restored and opened to visitors. The town has a number of sculptures by Walenti Pitol. The left bank of the Y shows two of these, despite the common belief that both depict swans, one in fact shows ducks. The former Ross on Y railway station was at a junction on the Hereford, Ross and Gloucester railway, north of the town. It was the terminus of the Ross and Monmouth railway, which joined the Hereford, Ross and Gloucester, just south of the station. Opened 1st of June 1855, the line was merged into the Great Western Railway. A line to Tewkesbury was authorised by Parliament in 1856, but this was actually never built. To the east, of course, of Ross is now the M50 motorway, or the end of the M50 motorway, sometimes called the Ross Spur or Ross motorway, which links with the M5. Ross has been voted the UK's best loved market town by a leading coach tour company. That coach tour company being National Express. They describe it as with its picturesque location and stunning market house. It's just hardly surprising that Ross on Wye is regarded as one of the best towns in the UK. That's a very bold claim, but it is very beautiful. Quite nice with the weeping willow. The weeping willow. Yes. And it's a very, very, very nice day again in the UK. We do get them occasionally through the weeping willow then. A rather splendid church, and we do like our churches and castles in the UK. Thank you. 
do love the churches we have in the UK. I love how the bays hang over the pavement. Hold on. So there's some stains on your photo. They all cracks on your rusty frame. Stuck in the mud. I'll be putting quite a lot of um, a number of what free words in the description below the video and I'll be putting it at the bottom of the video on screen so we're on the riverside walk and there are a decent number of benches to sit on what else do you do with benches this is very pleasant you're near to a road but it's, it's not a particularly busy road but of course you got the river Y running through it's just a really peaceful, lovely little historic town. I don't have the pieces of your home buried in the flashbacks. So you can, of course, hire a canoe, paddle down the river. Why? I'm not a boating type person, so I'm not about to do that today. I don't mind being on the bigger stuff. But uh, as Lee Evans once said, I don't do lengths, I do depths, so uh, as I can't swim, I prefer the boat to be a bit bigger and not to sink. There's a lion over there, Alice. That's the Riverside Inn that's all boarded up. That just seems such a waste. Looks like it was mid-renovation when they've stopped. Because they've done the roof, they've done some of the windows. Yes, so yes, some of the roof has been done, absolutely. Yeah, what, a, what, what would be an absolutely lovely building, it just needs someone to spend some money and to show it some love. It's such a shame, but in this beautiful market town, more buildings that have gone to ruin. And it's literally just opposite the River Y. Such a shame. Now we haven't tried it ourselves but the Hope and Anchor is just at the side, just at the edge of the River Wye and it looks really nice and you can sit outside and enjoy your meal and a drink. I'll put a what three words for the Hope and Anchor at the bottom of the video now. The White House. It's not very white is it, the White House? It's got a white car. There are some beautiful buildings though. Now this building says British and Foreign School. Is established 1837 to educate children from different backgrounds. 
I'm loving the mix of buildings and colours particularly that splendid one there oh yes got a good view in the distance of what must be Monmouthshire I'll put a what three words for the Royal because it's got an absolutely splendid view straight across there. Mock Gothic town walls built 1833. And that's definitely closed. I was going to say it's a shame, but I don't like heights, but Fran would have happily gone up with the camera. We could have had a bit of Fran cam. That means nothing other than Fran holding the camera, <laughs> just for clarity. That's on a completely different channel, that one, isn't it? I'm not walking under the ladder. ladder. Call me super superstitious or not. I can't even say super superstitious. Superstitious. Alice obviously doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. Alice doesn't care because she's protected by a new plush. Which plush is that, Alice? Atlas. With one of the sculptures. That's in Ross and Y. We'll leave the video there, everyone. We hope you enjoyed that little walk around Ross and Y. If you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. That tells YouTube algorithms it's a good video and more people should watch it. If you're not subscribed to the Live for Travel channel, you know what I'm going to say. There'll be a link just about there in a few seconds. If you click on it, it's completely free to subscribe, but we do value your support and it helps build the channel. See you soon.